Hey y'all, it's Sierra, AKA Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with another video for you all. Whew, allergies are really, really tripping today. Eyes keep watering. So yeah, I'm gonna try to like make this one quick. I say that all the time, but I really do mean it this time. Uh, make sure you use your own discernment when you're listening to this message. This is a general reading for the collective. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We are starting off with the 10 of cups and the king of wands for whatever reason i thought about the word ambition and i was talking about julius caesar the other day and how ambitious he was and now today i'm hearing don't judge me i am hearing i think it's called ambitions of a rider by tupac i don't know but with this Ten of Cups and this King of Wands, this, let, this is letting me know that you need to continue to focus on your ambitions, your goals, and your dreams. Whatever you have been working on, um, it is definitely going to be happening with this Ten of Cups. A lot of joy and emotional fulfillment is coming your way, especially those of you that have creative projects or your entrepreneurs or even models this person looks like a model here some of you may be getting like some brand deals or modeling deals or something like that something to do with how you look okay there's definitely pretty privilege here <laughs> so um yeah you definitely will be benefiting from the way you look in some way shape or form which is not a bad thing not a bad thing at all people may try to make you feel bad Ooh. people may try to make you feel bad but um it's not you know as long as you're not being vain you can't help it that people are just attracted to you like that right so we have the knight of wands as well a lot of charisma people really appreciate your charisma you just may be a naturally happy naturally joyful person you may smile a lot um you may joke around a lot like you light up the room when you walk in so you're going to be benefiting from your natural charisma and also the way that you look as well um you definitely um your beauty on the inside definitely matches your beauty on the outside so yeah three of wands something is coming something that you've been working on and you've been waiting for is definitely coming in okay um and this is something that's coming pretty soon the three of wands is something that you're expecting to come pretty soon like you would not be standing on the shore waiting for a wave or waiting for a boat to come in if you weren't expecting it to come pretty soon so knight of pentacles is more so something that's going to take a long time but this knight or this three of wands is something that's going to be coming fairly quickly now quickly is um subjective so that means it means different things to everybody okay i don't know what quickly means to you this could be three months possibly since it's the three of um wands could be three weeks for some people we have the magician yeah something you have been manifesting so now is a time to really really stay in this type of energy right here this knight of wands type of energy this sagittarius type of charismatic happy go lucky kind of energy um that's definitely gonna help bring in this three of wands yes i like it i really do like it we've been having a lot of heavy messages lately and i was just like oh i don't feel like talking about the same old thing today so i'm glad we got some different messages coming in we have the moon card that represents pisces but it also represents um some things are going to be revealed to you okay that's going to help you along your journey and it also represents your subconscious mind so that's why it's um crucial that you stay in this knight of wands energy okay this happy-go-lucky charismatic just i'm going to be happy no matter what everyone else decides to do everybody else around you could be like looking at the glass half empty and you're staying optimistic and looking at it half full 
and that's helping you subconsciously manifest what it is that you're wanting, okay? This takes practice and self-awareness. So this is letting you know that you all are very self-aware. Okay, we've got the Nine of Wands. So this is that. <laughs> I'm hearing SpongeBob when he said, I'm already halfway there. This is that um, almost there energy. So you're more than halfway there for sure with this page of cups. Notice he has like, I don't know what this is, but it's like beams of light, I guess. I don't know, coming from his heart, his chest. So you are manifesting from your heart chakra right now, which is a very, very strong way to manifest, okay? Very, very strong. Um, so being able to engage the heart and the mind, the conscious, subconscious, and the heart, um, very, very strong way to manifest. And I mean, you're, you're like exuding, exuding a certain type of energy that's very, very attractive right now, like magnetic type of energy. We have the four of pentacles, okay? So you may be conserving your energy in order to be able to exude such strong magnetic energy. So you may be refraining from things, like maybe you're fasting from certain things. You can fast from things other than food. It can be food, but it can also be other activities, um, habits, whatever. You're, you're conserving your energy for sure. And that is why it's like radiating out of you, okay? We got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So some of you may be receiving some sort of help. Um, to like release some sort of burdens that you may have on your shoulders. Okay, so uh, what, what did I say earlier? I said you were going to get some sort of message or some sort of information. So some of y'all are going to get some sort of information that's going to help um, make this a lot easier for you or make your life a lot easier. Some of y'all have been manifesting just having like a lighter load. Okay, so that's going to be happening um, for sure. We have the Ten of Swords followed by the Empress. So that lets me know that you all have been working on transmutation. Okay, so you've taken things that have caused heartache, sadness, pain, and used those to turn it into something that works for you. You use that pain as fuel to help you to keep going and to help you to create instead of allowing it to hold you back. Okay. Um, so some of you may have written books, you may have written plays, you may have written movies, you may be an artist if you put your, your, um, energy into your artwork or into creating something. You all are very, very creative. And we've got Knight of Cups on the bottom. There's this energy that keeps showing up of somebody wanting to give you something. You may have people that are wanting to donate to the cause in a sense or or come through and help you and assist you because they've been watching you work they've been watching you make progress and they've been watching you help other people for some of you um you're very helpful um when it comes to helping other people so people want to return that favor to you okay that just flew out Composure, the word composure um, on this card. So people are very impressed with the way you are able to hold your composure. You um, have a lot of dignity in the way that you move, the way that you behave, the way that you present yourself. Some people may think that you are stuck up, but there's a lot of people that actually appreciate the way that you carry yourself, okay? We have signs and reminders. So I said you're going to be getting some sort of message here. 
some sort of uh, signal. A lot of serendipitous events are going to be happening. Intuition and downloads. Wow, there is some sort of information you all need to know that's coming towards you. So, yes, you definitely want to stay in high vibrations and stay grounded, okay? Um, because there's some information that you need to receive. We have vulnerability and freedom. These don't ever want to like focus. <laughs> and it is annoying. And forgiveness and understanding. So someone may, um, someone who may have done something harmful to you in the past may uh, have a moment of vulnerability or at least pretend to have a moment of vulnerability and come and ask for your forgiveness for something. They may or may not be sincere. I don't know. Use your discernment and your intuition. We have guardian angel and courage and bravery. So some of you may feel like you're in a situation where you may be possibly in danger or someone who can cause harm to you, whether it be spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. However, you are being protected right now by your guardian angels. Your courage and bravery is not going unnoticed, okay? We have transformation. You're going through uh, a transformation right now, but I feel like you're on the part where you've passed, like, the chaos and the tower moments. Like, you've gotten past those parts. The growing pains, you got past the growing pains. Um, and then angelic protection is here. So, yeah, I just said y'all are protected by your guardian angels, we got healing energy, so I think it's Raphael, Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, and I think his colors can be green, and there's green in this card, so some of y'all might have Raphael around you, or Gabriel, since Gabriel's the messenger angel, or Michael, since Michael's a protection angel, so, or all three, child. Because if you like me, you be having like all, all kind of deities and angels and stuff around you. <laughs> There's not just one. Okay, we got the spiritual growth card and we got support. I told you there's a lot of supportive energy around you right now. A lot of people wanting to help you or support you in the physical and spiritual. Um, we have grief work. So, some of you are having to grieve relationships from people who haven't passed. They're still here on this earth, but you just can't be connected to them anymore because they refuse to spiritually grow. So, it's kind of like going through a death sometimes when you have to disconnect from people. Um, so, yeah, you may be needing some extra, some extra emotional support right now. Sentimental feelings, yeah, because, you know... Just because people treat us wrong and mistreat us, that doesn't mean our sentimental feelings or our love for those people just automatically disappears. Like, a lot of us still have some sort of affinity towards people, even if they've done us wrong. We have join in. Okay, it don't want to focus, but whatever. <laughs> And get some rest. Some of you are um, needing to get more rest, which is could be why you are wanting your load to be a little bit lighter. And we have be true to you. So there's a lot of people that want to join in as far as learning how to be authentic the way that you are. You're a very authentic person. And believe it or not, that is hard for people to do. It's hard for people to be their natural selves, which is weird because... It's supposed to be natural, right? It's supposed to just naturally come to you. But, you know, we have to, a lot of us have to code switch at work and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, it can be hard. Transformation came out again. <sighs> okay. 
cards don't want to um, focus. And then we have justice. You could be a Libra, have Libra somewhere in your birth chart. Um, you're going to see someone transform in a negative way because they are getting their karma and they're going to see you transform in a positive way. Part of their punishment is to watch you transform in a positive way. Like that saying, like that uh, scripture when they say like God will prepare your table in front of your enemies or something like that. Um, we have well-being. Some of you are taking your well-being more seriously and that includes not being around people that are a threat to your well-being, okay? And we have manifestation. Really, really heavy focus on your manifestations right now and you're kind of you have tunnel vision blocking everything else out right now. We have protection again. A lot of you are needing to really, really feel secure and understand that you're being protected right now. Because there's people, we, we talked about that yesterday, so I ain't going to go into it today. But um, you also are receiving clarity. I told you you're receiving some sort of information. And it may not be the best information. It could be hurtful but it is for your protection you need to have clarity about certain things so that you can stay protected and prepared okay she also is holding a, a, a earth on her stomach just like the empress card was so i don't know what this earth stomach en energy is <laughs> Okay, it's a gut feeling possibly that y'all have had about something that you're going to get clarity on. And it could come through your dreams. We have the dreams card here. Um, some of you have been praying for strength and you are going to receive that strength. Okay, um, some of you, if you have animals, this is going to come through animals. because You may receive a message through an animal. If you're like me, you don't have an animal, but you have little animals that just come visit you. <laughs> Like little strays that keep finding their way back to your house or something like that. It might not be a stray animal. It might be a guardian angel, okay? And it keeps finding its way back to you in the form of an animal. And we got friendship and boundaries. A lot of y'all are creating strong boundaries around friendships. Even being careful about who you see call a friend okay you might be starting to be like oh that's an associate that's a co-worker i know that person but we not friends like you ain't just throwing that friend word around easily because <laughs> look we got new life we have new life a whole new world i think i'm gonna end it right there you have a new life opening up to you, new opportunities, a whole new world. Um, that song has been on my mind, heavy from Aladdin. I don't know why, but it has. Um, and it's probably because like your life is gonna look drastically different in like three months for some of you, your life is gonna look drastically different than what it looks like now to where it's gonna look like your overnight success. It's gonna, people are gonna be like, what kind of miracle worker is that person? <laughs> or what they got going on? Cause I want some of it, okay? So thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a great day, toodles.